Hi, this is Janine Ferrara from Douglas Element with Sell and Dwell, your guide to staging, selling, or dwelling in your home. This month, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek into my arsenal of tools that I use to make my own and my clients' homes fabulous. Uh, I'm not being paid by any of these companies, but if any of these companies want to pay me, call me. Um, but I hope you find this helpful. Today I'll cover three categories of products I use to get my clients and my own home in photo ready and open house condition. The categories are scrub and clean, steam and freshen, and touch it up. One of my absolutely favorite products is Goo Gone. It's a citrus-based cleanser that breaks down things that are sticky or greasy. If I find anything that seems like a challenge to clean, I apply Goo Gone and wait five minutes. When paired with a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, it's unstoppable and will get almost anything clean. Goo Gone also makes a whole home grout cleaner. Nothing cleans grout in showers or floor tile better. I usually spray it on, again, wait five minutes, and then scrub it off with a toothbrush or the OXO Good Grips Deep Clean Brush. You won't need to scrub hard and you'll be surprised by how clean your grout will become. It literally transforms tile surfaces and can make a dingy bathroom or kitchen or floor appear new again. In bathrooms, I also like OXO's all-purpose squeegee for shower doors, and I usually follow that with the generous spritz of Method Daily Shower Spray Cleaner in Eucalyptus Mint. It deals with streaks, hard water stains, and gives a spa-like smell. I use this spray on both the tiles and the glass doors, and it's a plus that Method's products are good for the environment. Another environmental friendly brand I like is Mrs. Myers. Their products are made with essential oils, so they smell amazing. For counters and appliances, I like their Clean Day Multi-Purpose Everyday Cleaner, and my preferred scent is Honeysuckle, but I also love their hand soap in Geranium. Scent is especially important when showing homes, and carpets and rugs that smell of pets, smoke, or cooking smells are especially problematic. My go-to carpet cleanser is the Febreze Gain Scent Deodorizing Powder. I'm one of those people obsessed with the smell of Gain, so the product is awesome for me. But in general, Gain is a really popular scent, which makes it a safe bet for showing homes. For stains on carpets, I use Resolve Carpet Cleaner. I soak up the liquid and then fairly saturate the spot with a spray. Place a paper towel over it and leave it for a few hours. Sometimes it may need a little scrubbing, but with the exception of fresh tomatoes stolen by my dog, I've been able to get most stains out. Finally, my essential scrub and clean tool is a Tide to Go stick. I carry one in my purse, one in my nightstand, and one in my staging bag. It's perfect for quick stains on the go or just spot cleaning a duvet cover or pillow sham versus washing the whole item. It works on a variety of stains if used right away. Moving on to steam and freshen. When staging, I do my best to steam everything. Drapes, shower curtains, pillow shams, bed skirts, and bedding. It really does make a difference for photographs. I've tried a number of steamers over the year, but my fave is the Conair Extreme Steam Handheld Fabric Steamer. It heats up quickly and gives you a decent amount of steam. I also like that it's portable and when you attach it to an extension cord, you can reach fairly high, which is ideal for window treatments. I've always hated using a traditional mop, swishing around dirty water, dealing with product buildup, and having to put some muscle in it when things were really sticking to floors. Once I switched over to the Bissell Power Fresh Liftoff Steam Mop, I barely mind mopping. It takes about a minute to heat up, it's super lightweight, and glides across the floor. You don't need to use any cleaning products with it, and when you get a particularly dirty spot, you don't need to scrub. Just keep the steamer on that spot for a few extra seconds and whatever is sticking will be gone. Then just toss the mop pad in the washing machine. Again, this is also an environmental, family, and pet friendly option since it uses only steam and cleans 99.9% .9 of germs and bacteria. Back to scents. If it seems like I obsess on this topic for showing houses, it's because it's important. Complex emotions and memories can be triggered by a simple sensory cue. Likewise, a musty smell can easily turn off potential buyers, leading them to suspect you have water damage, plumbing, or ventilation issues. For small spaces that need a quick fix, you can pop a damp rid moisture absorber on a counter or in a closet. However, for larger spaces, specifically basements on Long Island, it's best to get a dehumidifier. I use the Perfect Air Dehumidifier. It collects about 70 pints of water from the air a day, which is insane to think about, but it makes a huge difference in the smell of a basement fairly quickly. 
For an appealing aroma, fresh baked goods are always a good bet for home showings. But if you don't have time to bake, try the Bath & Body Works Wallflowers. The plugins themselves come in cute shapes and a variety of scents. Two of my favorites are Eucalyptus Mint and Orange Ginger. Both give that spa-like scent that is fresh and clean without being cloying. Another trick I use is to put Dr. Teal's Epsom salts in eucalyptus and spearmint or lavender in vases or bowls to hold flowers or candles in place while subtly scenting the room. Sometimes cleaning isn't enough. While people aren't necessarily buying your furniture, when the items in a room look worse for the wear, people often assume the house has issues as well. It's all about creating a perfect illusion to make people fall in love with your home and the life they could lead there. So don't let anything distract them. For scratched furniture, a Sharpie or Wyman wood repair wax crayons and markers are perfect for hiding scratches. Don't touch your antiques, but do spruce up your Pottery Barn pieces and thrift store finds. And if you've got black or white appliances, manufacturers like Whirlpool or other appliance brands make ones that work wonders. And last, but not least, your walls. Get out that Mr. Clean Magic eraser again. It's also a good idea to keep leftover paint in a jar that's carefully labeled so that you can do quick touch-ups. If you have a leftover can, take a photo of the label on the top. It'll indicate the color, and if you take it to the paint store, they can usually replicate the exact color in a pint for you. Also, pick up a small set of brushes or foam sponges from the craft store so you don't have to do a lot of cleanup after you do those touch-ups on the walls. You can simply toss them away. So those are just a few of my secrets to prepping a home for sale. I promise to share more over the coming year. And if you're on Long Island and need some help, give me a call. I'd be more than happy to come to your home and provide a consultation for free. And remember, when you list with me, I stayed your house for free. For more great tips, visit my website at janineferrara.element.com. Call, email, or text me. Um, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. As always, home. Let me help you get there.